it's gonna take at least 10 minutes to have a drivable car. He is so mad at me. I know, I know. Because I was sick um, the past two days, I couldn't walk him. So he is literally going insane. <laughs> you wanna go on a walk? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. this Ramadan traffic. I don't get it. Come on, Roy. Oh my god, this is his new thing lately. Come on. No, come on. <laughs> come on. I don't care. Come on. Finally. I went to a gas station and the gas station was closed. Shit, I really don't want my thing to break down because I don't want to waste time and energy that's from my stupid mistake. Oh, can we make it? I'm not even pressing on the gas. I'm letting it drive itself. Please be open. Wow, this is a big gas station. I've never seen one this big. Welcome back to my office. Make this vlog more useful to you. I thought it would be interesting to share what I did today to get out of my comfort zone, um, which because I'm doing it so often is not becoming my comfort zone anymore. So what I did today is um, I was invited to a gathering, a rabga, which we've defined in previous vlogs. And I knew that I shared a lot of social circles with the host. And so I knew I'd run into a lot of people that I knew. But um, I told myself that I wanted to meet new people today and I wanted to, you know, um, socialize and really get to know um, other people rather than just do rounds and um, get updated on the people I already know. While I still wanted to do that, um, I felt like, I don't know, I wanted to switch it up a little bit and make it more interesting. And that's what I did. I. Um, I have gotten to know at least like 10 new people and uh, where I could like tell you their names and what they do and and you know what they do with their life and uh, you know what their interests are and I had nice conversations with them and I feel like it made it more um, fruitful rather than just uh, spending three four hours conversing with people I already know while I like the people that I already know and I like conversing with them and that's why you know I got to know them it's still much more interesting to get to know new people share your experiences with other people share some knowledge um, get to know other people maybe they own a business that you're interested in um, maybe they're you know activists maybe they're teachers maybe they're whatever they're probably you can probably learn something from them and if there's nothing you can learn from them at least you can learn what you don't want from them I guess and so uh, that's just a life tip that I wanted to add in this video um, just because I noticed that a lot of people like kind of revert to their own comfort zone they're just like oh I'll just stick with the people that I know and you know I'll just you know kind of like beeline to um, uh, my friends from college or my friends from whatever but I think it's really important to also expand your social circle and take each opportunity um, as such rather than uh, just kind of like you know doing what you do all the time 
so yeah i just thought i wanted to add that and i hope that added something to your day and i hope that next time you're invited to a gathering you actually try this out and let me know how it goes and tell me if you met someone interesting and actually get to know them like ask them first of all introduce yourself i noticed a lot today that like people were surprised that i was introducing myself and i was like what i thought i thought this was the norm <laughs> but apparently it's not so introduce yourself be like hey my name is Dal. what's your name what do you do and if they don't do anything be like what do you study if they don't study anything be like what do you like to do for fun um there is no like dead end conversation just try to make it smooth and then just be like all right i'll uh it was lovely meeting you spend like five minutes with them or so or, or whatever if you're like super interested in what they have to say spend half an hour um, and then just be like, all right, I'll let you eat or I'll let you do this and do that and uh, I'll see you around. And then just like keep doing your rounds with people and um, make it organic though. Don't be weird and just be like, hey, and interrupt someone while they're talking. Um, try to make it organic. And uh, if you want to know more, we can do a whole separate video on this and like how to socialize and how to get out of your comfort zone and how to introduce yourself to new people and network. Um, but for now, this is a little short tidbit. Good night. I will see you tomorrow. Also, I wanted to note something. So today I learned that what you wear really says a lot about you. I mean, I know that, but because I use clothes more for comfort and practicality rather than self-expression, it's not really something that's actively brewing in my mind. But basically when I walked in today, everyone was like, oh, that's like Palestinian or Jordanian um, attire. And I was like, I guess. I mean, yeah, it is. My mom got it from Jordan and they're like, oh, so you're half Jordanian? I'm like, no. <laughs> I just got it from my mom just got it from jordan um and a lot of people were like reading into it rather than just it's just what's on me right now but um people actually read into it and like made it half my identity but uh that was just a fun uh interesting new thing to learn about so i should uh actually be more aware of the messages i'm sending across with what i'm wearing although like i like this and i don't mind there's nothing wrong with being thought of as Jordanian, but in our little bubble town, conclusions are made. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want an office tour. I really like my office, but maybe if you guys let me do an office tour, I'll actually tidy up the other half of it that's behind the scenes that you cannot see. Because <laughs> it's always like, I love my office. It's full of my personality and me. It is like my little cave. But um, there's always like a corner that's like the trash corner where it has like all the crap that I pull out of my car that I leave pending for later sorting that just never really happens. So let me know if you guys want an office tour and I'll make it happen.